What's up YouTube? Today we are going to work on getting off the valve cover, the cams. I need to change the valve spring or valve stem seals. And to get the valve stem seals off, I have valve stem, uh, valve stem, this should take off the uh, valve spring retainers. Uh, I could have used a, a group of pliers, but they're kind of down in there. So I just, this was like five bucks. So I went ahead and got this. I got some, uh, a, it's just cheaper. I rather would have gotten a bit thicker rope, but I'm gonna use the rope because I don't have compressed air here. And I got some white out to mark the timing on the harmonic balancer and mark it, I'll mark it on the cam sprockets as well as the distributor. And that's what we're gonna get to. The first thing is I'm gonna have to be able to get to the harmonic balancer to put on a socket to be able to turn the crank to find top dead center things like that so I'm gonna take this air intake off and that might be able to give me just enough space all this is still stock so it has the stock wiring has the shroud the clutch fan all that stuff so I'm gonna have to work around that let's get this air intake off first Now that I got the intake, air intake off, I went ahead and put back the bolts just to try to keep me from losing any. Now I need to clear away this wiring. That way I can get to the front cover when I get the valve cover off as well. Now that I have the wiring out of the way, we're gonna get the spark plugs off. Well, next up, I'm gonna work on getting the bolts to hold the spark plug wires away. That way I can get the valve cover off and find top dead center. Let's get those off. All right, now that those are off, we're gonna get these two ground wires over here. Got that one ground. I'm gonna put the bolt back in so I don't lose it. And then one more ground. All right, now that I have the ground wires off, spark plugs off and spark plugs out, spark plug wires off, and I have the cables moved to the side, I wanna get this to top dead center, but I wanna make sure that the cams are facing out on the intake and the exhaust. So I'm gonna take the valve cover off now, then I'll be able to tell if this is in position one and I'll mark that and then if I can I'll mark down here otherwise I'm just gonna well yeah I'm gonna find a way of marking down there
All right. I got the valve cover gasket off. And we can see that it is not top dead center. So we need to fix that. As soon as we get top dead center, then we can mark the distributor cap and then work on getting this front cover off. All right, we have right down here, we have our 27 on our harmonic balancer. And we'll be able to turn this and get a long screwdriver. Just slowly insert that. That seems pretty high up, but let's check it out. I'm gonna put this on the tripod and give it a give it some turns. Let's see. That's looking pretty, pretty top dead center. Let's check out we have one cam lobe sticking out that way, other cam lobe sticking out that way. This was maxed all the way up. Now, I need to get this cover off. Actually, before we get this cover off, I'm gonna take the distributor cap off and then with some white out, let's see, this should be, this one should be one, so it should be facing right at this one. But I'm gonna put it wherever it's marking, I'm gonna put it on there, so let's get that off. All right, for the distributor, <clears throat> there are two eight millimeter bolts. It's one on the top, and one on the bottom. And it looks like this had been done before because it is marked right there. So that is top dead center. So I'll keep me from having to worry about doing that. All right. Now, I'm gonna take the distributor out. All right, the distributor is held in by a 10. On the top and a 10 on this back side. And out comes the distributor. All right, taking the cover off. I'm looking and I see one there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Would that be eight down there? Well, let's see. The side bolts, one, two, three, and on the other side, four, five, six. Those are 12s, and then the two on the bottom going down are 10s.
All right. You have the top bolt, the middle, the bottom, these two that face straight down, and the top and the middle and the bottom. You can see that these are the same, pretty much the same length, and these are the same length, but these are longer on the right hand side. The two tops are the same. Now the cover should just come off. After pulling for a little bit, ended up finding this one right back here and take that one off. Now let me make sure I remember, I just put them in some cardboard and that was the one I was missing. I took that off and now the cover should come off. cover I have to clean this up put a little uh, black or gray on there to seal that back up when I put it back together I need to mark the cam sprockets the cam chain now I can take those off if you look real close you can see the indentation on that one. So I'm going to mark right above it. And then on this one as well, I'm going to mark right to the left. As you can also see, there's not much play. So I'm going to release the tensioner that way I can get those off so take off the tensioner now to give you some play if you want to go ahead and loose these are 24s on the cam sprockets I ended up having to put my foot down in here get this uh, pry bar hold it and then hammer it down to loosen these up but Take off the tensioner and then get this front, the cam sprocket bolts, 24 millimeter. You got the washers. washer I got the cam sprocket bolts off. We're gonna take these cam caps off. Usually you tie them with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna loosen them. We'll try loosening them the same way. So I marked up some cardboard with the intake and exhaust. Go ahead and pre-cut some holes in there for the caps to be able to slide in there. Let's get these caps off.
All right, once you got the cams out, you have to get these. Just get a magnet, pull those out. I'm gonna keep these organized as well. I'm only gonna do the exhaust and the intake per cylinder. Actually, this is the exhaust side. All right. Intake side. First. That second. All right. Now for the fun part. We got to get the rope put it down inside then back it down so the piston slides down and then get a little more rope and push it so these valve springs will stay up when you take them off let's do that all right just to give an update what I'm working on right now I got all the little caps off I'm putting the rope down. It's not wanting to spin just down. So I have to uh, crease one edge and then put a screwdriver and then push it down and get it down in there. I have a good bit down in there already. If you can I have a good bit down in there, but still got a little more to go. So I got a whole lot of rope in there at bottom dead center and so now I'm gonna crank it up to top dead center and compress the piston. It won't go anymore. So that should be enough pressure to push up the valves and hold the valves in. Now I gotta take the these valve springs off. Now the tool I have is this valve spring compressor. You just this is to install. You just take this part and this is for taking them off. And what we'll do you put them right on top right there and they'll give a good whack with a hammer to get it off so you just get it put it down flat on there and then hammer it and that's how you get them off once you give it a good whack it'll come off your retainer pin, your clips, and if you look down inside, you know, further in there, you have your other one as well. Then all you have to do is reach down and pull off your spring. Now to get off the valve stem seals, you could use a needle nose set of pliers, but I bought these they're only like five bucks, so I bought these valve stem seal removers. And then sold valve stem seal.